Hey everyone, Ava Pala here, and we're back playing In Heat Honeymoon. Now, I want to see what would the other options would be. I uh, still want to know if we could do anything about the screwdriver, and that's only if you let her raid the minibar. If you don't, you say, uh, can't you work here? That option isn't even there. But, there's another girl we can try. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see where this leads us. Are you sure? Yes. Wonder who this is. We shall find out. Brittany, who is this? Give me that. Where'd you find this? It was on the table with the other papers. Don't worry about that. My job is to keep any nu uh, nuisances off of your ass. And by golly, I'm not letting you die like the last one. Oh, now I'm really curious. Eh? Speaking of dates... Just pick another girl, okay? Oh. Just have fun. It's what other people, other dude paid for. Bye. Brittany, hey. Oh, jeez. Oh, so we don't have a choice. Uh, yeah, so Cassidy is another one from In Heat. Now, there's also a character from another game. Uh, Bun Bun? That's from, uh, oh, jeez. I always, uh get this from uh da, 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 da. why can i not think of it uh god damn oh sapphire safari <laughs> that's another game you can find on itch.io where it has like humanoid rabbits and monkeys and tigers that have boobies and you can take pictures of yeah it's a photo like a pokemon snap kind of except you can also do naughty naughty things with them so, she's in here somewhere, so maybe we can find her this time around. Are you sure? Yes. But we're gonna... I wanna just skip some stuff. So let's just... I'm not gonna hit the skip button, though, because I don't wanna go too fast. Just in case we can actually try to click on stuff we see. I don't know. Since we're just gonna skip through a lot of it. You know, the dialogue. I don't think we'll have to worry about this video being too long. Okay, here we go again. Alright. Wait, what's that? We got something. What is that thing? Oh, it's um, it's a gem from In Heat. You use those to collect the... Uh, what is it called? The gotcha figures? I wonder what it does here, though. You know what? We're going to put a save in on this. Uh, we'll do the bottom. Alright, we're still just going to skip through. I don't see anything. Yeah, nothing else that looks like we can click on. I mean, maybe. I hope so stuff doesn't pop up like in between dialogue. So it's only there for like one screen. Then when you go to talk. Oh, there's another one. Bam. How many of these are there? <clears throat> Still haven't found... Ooh, Java. Let's just keep going. I, okay. A new screen. Anything here? I nothing popped up between this dialogue since I'm going fast through it. Blah, blah. Keep going. Wait. Hmm, 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 hmm. I want to see different options. Maybe we should... You know what? I hate having to do this. We'll save here. I have to. Try again. Let's do uh You're not that energetic yourself. We didn't do that last time. You're not that energetic yourself. Do I need to be? Don't start asking me to do stuff. You didn't even pay for this trip. Don't... Uh, actually, she's both right... And a giant talking monster. I was enjoying this, you know. Sorry, you're right. I wonder where Poppy is. Where? Yeah, where is she? We should go find out. Okay. Would you be fine with that? Yeah. It was quick to lose interest in the conversation completely. Yeah, we were kind of a bit rude. It's probably best that I leave her be for now. Would you like to meet later? Sure. I can order something to sip on while you're away. Well, I guess she's not that upset. Alright, nothing here. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, I didn't even... Paying some attention to the environment around me while looking for potential landmarks, I saw a pair of eyes hiding away in the distance. Out of the bushes came another monster girl. She seemed to be one more of the island's attractions. Oh, it's Cassidy. Hey! Definitely looks a bit psychotic. More so than Poppy. Hi. Albeit quite tall, she was fairly shorter than the other girls in the park. Hey, you must be the cowgirl I saw pictures of. I'm a raccoon. Yes, you are. I saw you as a choice and asked if I could invite you. Ah, so you looked at it. I did, of course I did. I was actually thinking you could ditch these dummies and have some fun with this cowgirl. Yeah. Hope you don't mind me sneaking the paper in with the others. Make another save. There we go. Outfit looked unkempt. Ugly from hiding in the foliage. I was actually doing something before we met. Do you need any help? Well, I'm kind of a big deal here. So you wouldn't mind me asking for a favor, right? I guess not. You don't happen to have any spare cash, do you? <laughs> no. I was starting to get a picture of what was happening. Lady could see on my face as her demeanor started to change. Don't yell. What? They find me. I'm fucked. We're going to your room, and you're getting me your ticket back home. I want off this fucking island. You hear me? Uh, okay. Calm down. We can make something work for you. Just call someone, and they can help with whatever it is that happened. Like hell, I'm gonna let you do that. Now turn around and start walking. Don't make me shoot. It's a real gun. Okay. Why would you need to tell me it's real? Why is there like a pinpoint on her forehead now? God fucking damn it. Don't tell anyone I was here. Did I miss something to click on? Wait, let's go back. No, nope, we couldn't click on it. Maybe if we go a little bit quicker. Nope. Okay. Add a check. The raccoon spirit uh, sprinted away. Gun still in her hand. What the hell just happened? The whole situation made my IQ reach negative levels. I completely forgot. Half the day. Where was I going? Alright, oh, monster girls. That's right, how could you forget that part? Being unable to spot Poppy anywhere outside, I decided to visit the aquarium, both in hopes of finding Poppy and escaping the island's heat. Ooh, diamond. There we go. Still no screwdriver. The sign outside stated the tank water was being cleaned, but regardless, I found Poppy in one of the rooms of the aquarium, sitting quietly by herself. Alright, this is all the same... Talk, I think. Yes, yeah, so we skip through this. Da, 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 da. Come on. Uh oh, uh, I'm gonna save here. Right there. Do uh, is that even safe to eat? I didn't choose that last time. Probably not. Just wanted to see how it tasted. Poppy interrupted herself and got up from the bench. I think we should go back. Staff's going to be here any moment now. Also, I'm going to say you ate the fish. Hey, why me? Having arrived at the plaza, Sammy seemed to be missing from her seat. That's weird. Poppy, do you know if Sammy had anything to... Poppy had left as well. I was surprised by how such a large person could sneak away like that. Guess I'll go back to my room. I don't see a screwdriver. Oh, this is different. Okay, what's happening now? Bella, you seem to have been startled by me. I'm afraid I can't escort you out of your whereabouts peacefully. Why not? I will not scold you, as I assume you didn't know what you were doing. Let's not jump forward in the conversation. Oh, they must be talking to uh, Cassidy. Maybe? My name is Belladonna. You don't need to know anymore. On your way to one of your little escapades, you grab something of mine. They're talking to me, I don't know. Something that should not be available to the public. Something that should not have got out of a place that few have access to. Oh, the gems you found aren't meant to have such ease of access by any of the staff. 
let alone in the quantity that you've been found in. If their properties, only merely knowledge of their existence, were to become public, things could get out of hand. One has been found out in the open once. You found multiple in your path. That is a problem to me. I'm sure you didn't have this in mind for your vacation. I'm afraid I'll have to make this your problem as well. All you must do is merely take hold of them. If possible, avoid touching them with your bare hands. Carry a bag with you just in case. I'll have you escorted to your room in a moment. Okay. This is getting interesting. How was your date? Eh, I wouldn't call it a date. It really was more of a meeting. What? Don't tell me things went sour between you three. You just don't think there was any chemistry between us. Or I don't... Uh, whatever. Still, that's quite strange of them to leave you unattended like that. I hope we can get that sorted out with your next picks. Wouldn't want one of our top customers to feel unsatisfied with our entertainment. You'll know where to find me. Give me a call when you've made up your mind. Okay. You know, screwdriver. Yeah, nothing else I can click. Let's do a save. Ah. Uh, here. Go on the bottom. Coming soon. Oh. I guess that's it. Can't do uh anything else. Uh, I wonder what happens if we can go back. I want to see what else we can do. Let's see what there is. Let's check. We got a... Uh, how about... Curious about if we go back to this option. You're going to have rules. Just skip all this. Talk to you. Talk, 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 talk. I didn't like pick something, did I just now? Oh, this is new dialogue. Uh, I guess she left already. That's okay. If I'm remembering our schedules well enough, we have a show together in a few minutes. Right in the middle of our meet and greet? What are you doing here then? Go catch up with Sammy. I don't want you to get in trouble. I will. Thank you, Ava Pilot. I'll be back with something fun for us to do. I bet you will. Sure thing. Man, Poppy isn't that weird. She's kind of fun. Date's been arranged. Sammy was informed of the three possible locations you'll get to visit this evening uninterrupted. Thank you, Prinny. Poppy can be a little nuts at night, so if you feel there's any danger... Uh, yeah look rather out of it here. Is it anything on your mind? No, no, no. Hmm. I feel like a good idea at the moment. Thinking back on it, I think Poppy planned whatever she wants for a date it sounds very dangerous. You're hesitant about the date. No, there's no reason to be scared. The island is surveilled, and there's a cure for you set for the locations you're going to visit. Those are the perks of your vacation package. You get to roam and round parts of the island at night alone with your date. But if you feel too scared, we can call it off or have you surveilled even more closely. No need. We'll be fine. I'll make sure of it. Bobby can be very intimidating when alone with other people. I'm not sure about that. She was very sweet to talk to when we spoke alone. Now that I mention it, what about Sammy? Will she be fine? Of course. I don't see the girls as often as you do. Nothing about this is new to them. Barnwell's charge now. Poppy will be waiting for you at the park. Have fun, you two. Don't break anything. Thanks. <coughs> Alright, any more gems? Nothing I can see. Poppy waiting for me at the plaza, just like I planned. Hey, Poppy. Were you followed? Uh, no? Did you see anyone hiding around here? No. Poppy was acting weird right off the bat. That's just Poppy all the time. Alright, let's start the disc date then. Sure. Awesome. Oh. Uh, there's a lot of options. Good lord. Aww. 
Let's do uh I don't even know. Don't even know. Save. I wish I could name the pages just so I could kind of Oh, I can. Okay. Let's uh I don't know. I'll just choose up here, whatever. I want to visit Mr.'s restaurant. I want to visit the mall. I want to go straight to the bedroom. Do the restaurant. Right. We can visit the restaurant. I want to commit arson. Okay. That's one option. Okay. You heard me. You and I are going out to the storage room. We're going to take some gasoline and light the plaza on fire. Why would you want to? Hey, Paul, you promised. Uh, I'm not going back on my word. Sure, let's do this. Really? Yeah. Fuck this. If it's either having a giant monster be upset at me or jail, I'll risk jail. <laughs> nah, that's a good way to think of it. Besides, hopefully I can tell security she made me do it. Apparently, everyone knows how chaotic Poppy can be. Don't worry, it's insured. How do you know that? I don't. Well, if you say so, what's our first move? Or is it to walk to the storage room? I will then cause a distraction, and we can both storm inside and get the gasoline. Right, storm inside and get the gasoline. Yeah, gasoline. I'm down with that. Great. You know, you're a really cool guy. I think this is the first time someone's gone with one of my plans. I'll be right back. I don't have the screwdriver. What's that? What I was about to do was insane. I guess I have no choice. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's doing this or facing Poppy's wrath. Let's get the screwdriver. No, it's the screwdriver those mysterious instructions had told me about. What are you doing? Questioning whether or not this was the right thing to do, I tried prying apart any part of the robot off on hopes of breaking it somehow. Sir, you are not allowed within my nether regions in such a way. Okay. Brain from such action, almost immediately, the robot broke down. That was fairly easy. I, I don't know what to do now. As soon as I heard footsteps closing by, I threw the screwdriver off into the woods. Ari. Hey, she's one of the newer characters from In Heat. What's going on here? Thing? Uh, hi. You're one of the VIP guests. What happened here? Well, this robot was lying here broken. I just came here to see what happened. Dispatch, this is Ari. The cleaner robot by the storage room broke again. Open a crest for IT to come clean this up. As for you, you shouldn't be alone here at night. I was actually on a date with Poppy. I'm calling the date off. Go back to your room. Fine. I mean it. <coughs> I walked off without as much as another word spoken. Old. Hey, we got this again. You have been start. Okay, I guess we can skip all that. I ask what you were doing by the storage room. Poppy tried to rope me into committing arson. I believe it. Ari hasn't interacted as much with Poppy or the guy she's been with as often as I do. Well, Poppy's in her holding pen now. We don't have any more time with her, so I guess you'll have to make do with the rest of the girls we have scheduled. Right. Well, now everything's lost. Sammy wants a date with you. Sammy? What could she want with me? Beats me, but she scheduled a date right before you arrived. I say, let's not leave the night on a downer. Right, I guess it's worth a try. On the rails charging, I'll give the go ahead when it's ready. Nothing else to collect. Just like Prinny had said, Sammy was waiting for me at the plaza. Trevor. She didn't have the relaxed look she had during our meet and greet. Hey, so what's up? I saw what you did to that robot. What did you see? Don't make a fool of me. You're up to something. I knew some guy like you couldn't just come over here at random. You're spying on us. Shit, what am I going to do? I swear I didn't do any of it out of malice. Why did you do it? I, uh... Kind of just did it. Someone told me to. Someone told you to? I know it sounds kind of stupid, but I really just followed random orders because I felt like it. I swear. 
Someone told me they were to break that robot with a screwdriver. There was a screwdriver when I met the robot. I used it to see what happened. Right. I'm not allowing you to do anything that could harm Poppy. Sammy swiftly picked me up by my torso. No, 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 wait. Sammy, hold on. This is a mistake. You can't do this. I'm a premium guest. Who's going to stop me? I... Touche. Sammy carried me all the way over towards a crate and threw me in. It became pitch black afterwards as she locked it shut. Right after, my sense of balance lift off the ground. Sammy, I swear, I didn't do it with bad intentions. You didn't break something of ours with bad intentions? I should shut the fuck up right about now, but I swear I'm saying stupid shit because I'm really scared. Hey guys. Yeah? What are you doing out there at night? Just came over to say hi, taking out the trash. That's what this uh, that one's all degradable, so feel free to throw out what you throw out on your way back. Alright, evening. No, Sammy, hold on. Can someone come help me? I'm in the box. No matter how much I yelled, no one was able to hear me. Soon enough, I was thrown overboard. Though I didn't sink, the ride was extremely bumpy. And from the fact I could breathe fine after a few minutes, I knew I was not underwater. And eventually I passed out from exhaustion. I was wet, cold, and exhausted. I was... dry? Kind of warm, actually. Pretty soft. Or, pretty hot. There was something wet. On my crotch. Oh! Oh dear. I think life's not that bad here after all. So, we just ended up at Safari Island. Or, Sapphire Safari. I can't show you what was going on. Uh, it We go from... Something wet on our crotch to a little scene. Yeah, we got to meet Bun Bun. So that was pretty cool. Good end. Go play Sapphire, uh, Sapphire Safari. I guess I might as well save that. Alright. Let's see what else we can do. We did the robot. We collected gems. Maybe if now we do... No, I don't want to over it. I want to load now. Make good choices for this, I guess. Yeah, I think you're fine at being Sammy... Speaking of Poppy, why isn't she here right now? Which one should I do? Let's do uh, this one since we did that before. You're asking me that, that now? Well, she has been gone for quite a while. You should go look for her then. Will you be okay? I'll be fine. She's off in the aquarium like always. Uh, alright. Ended up taking a wrong turn. Got lost looking for the aquarium. Paying some attention to the environment around me while looking for potential landmarks. Okay, so now we got the same. Now skip all that. Whoa, it skips really fast. Yeah, let's be good with her. Why not? We can skip all this too. Uh, do something bad in the past? Eh, we can check it. We didn't do that one before, I think. Past all the time, apparently. Can't go a single day without... Oh, Poppy... Don't lick the ice cream and put it back in the tourist plate. Oh, Poppy. Don't set someone's dog on fire. Ooh, gem. Yo. Poppy interrupted herself and got up from the bench. I think we should go back. Staff's going to be here any moment now. Also, I'm going to say you ate the fish. Oh, we already saw that part. Okay. Let's see how this outcome's going to be. Oh, Sammy's here. Sammy approached us as we walked up to her seat. So what's next in our schedule? Yeah, about that. Both paused as they looked at each other. Can I have a thing to do? Yes, we have shows to perform this afternoon. Alright, and after that? There's nothing after that. It was nice meeting you, Ava Pilot. I think that was kind of mid-honesty. That was a pretty dull exit. I guess I'm going back then? Wah, wah, wah. Alright, we can skip all that. 
And I think we're at the point where we can't do anything now. Yep. So, I guess I'll make another save. Uh, there's a lot of saves. Oh my god. I do not like that at all. <coughs> um, now, we can try getting... I don't think there's any more diamonds. I think that's everything. Alright, so that was all the different options. I do believe... Uh, that was all of them anyway. Well, wait. That's not true. We could try... No, I don't want to overwrite. Damn it. Go to load. Go. Who happens at the mall? I want to come in. Oh, it's going to be the same dialogue. Okay. Back, 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 back. I'm going to go straight to the bedroom. Right, straight back to the bedroom it is. I want to commit arson. Oh, okay. So, no to that then. All right, so that was In He Honeymoon. And now I am pretty sure we did all the options. Let's see, we collected all the gems, I think. Uh, collect all the gems. We, oh, dismantled the robot. We got to meet Cassidy and Ari. Oh, and, well... I got to meet Bun Bun. You didn't. Uh, I couldn't show that because there was no scene with her not doing anything. So, yeah. But very cool. And on that note, you'll have yourselves a good one. And I will see you later.